If you've ever been to an Eagles game, there's a good chance Leo Carlin helped you in some way. He sure did. Carlin goes way back, too. He was in the Eagles ticket office when the Birds won the 1960 NFL championship. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lands tells us Carlin is thrilled tomorrow will be another parade of champions. So let me show you this. These are the thrilling prices of yesteryear. 80-year-old Leo Carlin knows tickets. We would spend days and weeks on the artwork of each ticket. I was the most tenured of all the ticket people around the NFL, uh -huh. of all the 32 teams. His whole career was spent inside the Eagles ticket office. I had the pleasure of working there 55 years, and I loved every minute of it. He started part-time in the 1960s and worked his way up to ticket director, building bonds with players. Westbrook, Pete Retzloff, who's that? Said? Donovan, Bergie. Even spending his lunch breaks working out with them. And I wound up in the same rotation as the offensive line. How do you think I looked in there? Okay. <laughs> they got 300 and some pounds, and I'm 150. <laughs> Over the years, he turned down other league offers. I just can't leave Philly. I'm a Philly kid. A Philly kid who got the phone call of his life a few years ago from Eagles owner Jeffrey Lurie. I said, Jeffrey, are you stuck for a ticket or maybe a athletic ticket or a theater ticket? He said, no, no, I don't need anything like that. I'm calling to tell you, telling you that we're inducting you into the Eagles Hall of Fame. Oh, see how I am? Don't, you're, you're not going to hurt me with that, are you? Why, why are you getting emotional? Because that's, I, I get emotional over happy things. As an inductee, he's now considered a legend, mostly comprised of players. He'll ride with them in the Eagles' first Super Bowl parade, a retirement gift like no other. It was fun. It was a great piece of life. It really was. In Newtown Square. I'm very, very blessed. Shante Lands, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.